9.22, morning, breakfast with Stephen and Anne, live across the UK on your TV and your radio. Now, here's something that gets us both excited, because yes, we yes, love yes. talking about space. The first ever all-private crew to the International Space Station are apparently stuck in space. A NASA trip to relieve them has apparently been delayed by bad weather. It's the four-member crew of the Axiom One, including a former NASA astronaut who's the mission commander, and three Axiom customers. They're private citizens who paid... 55, is this how much it was? 55? Yeah, because, it, no, it's 55 million dollars, isn't it? Yeah. 35 million pounds or something yeah. like that it was. Yeah, each. A lot, anyway. Each, each, each. Uh, let's uh, talk to someone who knows all about this sort of thing. Per Vemmer, founding astronaut with Virgin Galactic. Good to see you again, really good to talk to you. Look, um, we're, we're saying they're stuck in space, I don't feel very sorry for them, but is it, <laughs> uh, it's all to do with the weather, is it? Yes, it is. It's basically there's, there's too much wind just uh, off uh, the coast of Florida, and, and therefore they, uh, it's just too risky to, to land, essentially. These things happen. The good news is you can actually predict it, as opposed to trying and then uh, having lots of trouble on, on re-entry. So uh, yeah, I'm afraid they're stuck for, for a little bit. They're due to come down on Monday. More bang for their buck, aren't they, basically? I mean, they paid all that money. What's a few extra days? A bit of a bonus. No. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. I, I, I would kind of can compare it to, let's say, uh, let's say you guys went on a, on a work trip somewhere to your absolutely favorite destination in the world. Let's say it's the Maldives or the Caribbean or something, the best place you could ever imagine to be. You're on a work trip. You work really, really hard because uh, I know uh, Michael Lovas Alegria. He's, he's, uh, he's a serious commander from the uh, ex-NASA and he, he works the crew very, very hard. So let's say you work super, super hard for, for, day, for 10 days in a row. You're supposed to come, come back down to Earth and people say to you, ah, you're welcome to stay for another week, enjoying the views of space and your favourite place, etc. I'm, I'm sure they are, they are delighted. They're not complaining at all. Is, is there any concern at all in terms of, of whatever supplies they've got or what have you? I mean, presumably they're, they're pretty well stocked for, for, for this sort of situation. Yes, I mean, uh, there will be plenty of supply on the international space stations. Uh, there, there are currently uh, seven uh, government astronauts, if you like, up there, three Russians, three Americans and one European. Um, they would have ample of, of food and supplies, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it will have cost implications, though, because just for your reference, it actually costs about $2,000 $2, a day in terms of having food uh, per person on the international space stations. And in terms of supplies, you've got to budget in about $100,000 a day, more or less. Um, so it does have cost implications extending the trip by another week. But uh, I'm sure if, if they paid $55 million each, I'm sure they can afford it. So no doubt they'll, they'll enjoy it. But they're not going to run out of supplies anytime soon. I'm sure there'll be lots of people watching and listening who are thinking, if you've got Russian and American astronauts on the same space station, given what's happening in Ukraine, will that affect them in any way? Or are they, to quote a silly word, but are they above all that? <laughs> Quite literally, they are above all that. And within the space community and amongst astronauts, we all we all good friends. I mean, we're, we're a little bit seeing uh, the world from above, I, I should say. And, and uh, my God, it would be great to send some politicians up there to have the same view. So the, the politics uh, amongst people, amongst the astronauts, do not get in, in affected by it. However, uh, the Russian space agency, because of all the uh, global tensions, have said that they will discontinue the collaboration with NASA and stuff. So formally, there'll be disengagement at the personal level. And I'm sure the uh, the seven guys up there together with the four action guys, they, they would have a, a great time and they'll talk about space and they'll be sitting like friends around the table. That is how astronauts work. You, you really see the big picture uh, quite literally. I bet. Uh, per, uh, how much are you praying for bad weather once you're up there? <laughs> And, uh, and delaying your return. I mean, it, it must be, you must be quite jealous, actually, looking at that. Yeah, no, no, totally. Like I said, I'm, I'm sure they're having a fantastic time because now their schedules are freed up. That means they've got all the time in the world to take pictures, look down. Um, I, I don't mind a bit bad, bad weather myself to the extent that it leads to an extension. In any case, uh, when I go up next year, my, my plan is certainly to go up further uh, afield and, and longer time anyways. I, I want to have more space and longer duration in space. Interestingly enough, Michael, who is up there at the moment, uh, he's had more than 250 days in space. Uh, so he's certainly very familiar with it. So they're in very, very good hands um, uh, with, with Michael. Uh, per, per, when you go up there, I don't know how you do it, and I don't know what the cost implications are for us. 
Um, but when you go up there, if it's possible, will you speak to us on this programme from space? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll be delighted. We are actually streaming down uh, from our spacecraft. Uh, so that will be a live stream down to some sort of website so you can follow it live. And, um, and, and yes, I'll be happy to take the mic and, uh, and, 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 and say all the best wishes from, from space. And maybe you can wish me a good trip before I go. You know? yeah, we, yes, we will. We'll keep fully up to date with you before you go. We'll speak to you when you're up there. That would be wonderful. That really would be brilliant. It's lovely to see you and lovely to see a lovely blue sky behind you, Per. Yes, thank you very much. We're a blessed day in London today. Yeah, good day. Good, good day. stuff. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, I thought we were going with him.